Good morning, Cyber Warriors. I'm going to go over something that isn't really talked about very well within the Cyber Patriot stuff. But one of the things that they want to do is make sure that you do not delete accounts from the Windows operating system. Uh, they, With the Unix system, they will tell you to not only delete but purge. Uh, but the advice and recommendation, and in fact you can incur penalties, uh, is, is to avoid removing them in Windows. And, and there's a, a number of reasons for this. Um, and one of them is because what you see as a system name is not what the system sees as a system name. And when you're looking at something from a forensic point of view, uh, they're very, very different. And so I'm just going to touch on that very briefly um, and talk about what we don't want you to do which is kind of a different way, uh, but I think it's important to know why you don't remove accounts. So let's go straight into it, right? So we're going to talk about the accounts. Uh, so get local user. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to focus specifically on TAD, right? So we're going to actually take a look at TAD and then we're going to remove the account and then we'll add TAD back in which has all the same information but it won't really and I'll show you how and why so get local user and TAD so we need more than just the standard output right so we need to get all of this information the important part right here is the SID, or we call them the SID. Kind of like SID the sloth, except totally different. So I want to grab this one here. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to put it into our notepad. And hopefully that's large enough to see. Let's actually make that a little bit bigger. So we're going to change the font from 18 to 24. That should make it plenty big. Okay. Here we go. This is a really long string of information. It's super meaningless to you and I, but it's very, very important to the computer. So let's go ahead and remove TAD. Say wet. farewell. Remove local user TAD. And we're going to take a look just to make sure. Sure enough, TAD is gone. So let's recreate the information that we had for him, right? So, so we're going to go back to the new local user tad as full name was tad Eustace Ghostel. description and he was the host right and it's going to prompt us for the password password one two three four which should never be used for anything but it gives us the information that we had for tat right so this is all the stuff from the previous video that we added in so we added tad exactly the same way we did in the first video and now we've had them back in. So the account should be the same, right? Well, not really. I mean, other than the create date and all of these date things, which really are not important to the computer system itself, uh, we've got the SID again. So let's take a look at this. So all of these numbers are the same, right? They're all the same, the same, the same, the same and now we have a difference and it's just three numbers three numbers different like not as in like three completely different numbers but it's um, three numbers higher than the previous one uh, and this is just kind of how the Windows system keeps track of all of this stuff it, it will increment every single SID by one for every account that's created but this is really tied into the operating system and how it structures the encryption to include the file structure, how it stores the information about that, and how you can retrieve it. So from a forensic standpoint, 
that little difference right there is huge. Uh, so when they're telling you to disable accounts as opposed to removing accounts in Windows, uh, it's a really good practice to have as a security professional, especially when you need to look at uh, having to go back in and investigate an employee, a former employee that had been on a system, um, may have been fired under normal circumstances uh, or left on their own recognizance. But you have to investigate sometime after the fact. And if you destroy uh, the ability to log in and impersonate them uh, and being able to pull the forensic information required for that, you can wind up destroying evidence. So it's a better practice in Windows to go ahead and just simply disable accounts until you're absolutely certain you're never going to need that person's information ever again. And that's uh, in a nutshell why we have you do it that way as opposed to just simply removing them in the Windows system. I hope that was informative and I hope you learned a little something and I'll see you in the next video.